Hey, Fred Minnick here with a hot take on some hot news in the spirits industry. MGP announced a definitive merger agreement with Luxco. Now, the deal, according to MGP, represents an enterprise value of a $475 million comprised of equal stocks and cash. So that's equal parts cash and stock. So what does that mean to you as the consumer? And what does it mean to uh, the brands overall? First of all, from a bourbon perspective, uh, you're looking at two major players trying to go to the next level. Lutzko has been a company dependent upon Heaven Hill for multiple decades. They have basically had contracts with Heaven Hill up until a few years ago to acquire their stocks to bottle for their Ezra Brooks, their Ezra Brooks and their Rebel Yale, among other products. They've started coming out with things like Davies County, and they are a bourbon company while they have other products in there and their core of who they are from when they were David Sherman to when they converted to being Luxco. They are a bourbon company. So this gives them a bourbon partner in NGP Ingredients, which has a distillery in Lawrenceburg, Indiana, that's churning out high volumes of whiskey. This gives them a partner in, uh, in the equivalence of what would be basically, you know, MGP, Heaven Hill, you know, very similar. The only thing you're trading off is like you're losing that Kentucky, you know, straight bourbon brand. You're getting Indiana bourbon, but I think that's kind of gone to the wayside anyway. Now, the deal is, um, is just now really coming out. We're just now learning about it. Um, and we have, um, we have some quotes here from uh, some from folks that you know, I want to read. And it's being, it's being very much you know, touted as a strategic fit. So this is about all about long-term strategy. If you've been to the Lux Road Distillery, you've been inside that facility, you know it's beautiful, but you also know that it probably doesn't have the capacity to meet the demand that Ezra Brooks and uh, what Luxco has been building. So this is a quote from, uh, from Don Lux, the chairman and CEO of Luxco. There is a clear strategic fit between Luxco and MGP, and I believe this transition represents a great outcome for Luxco employees and customers. I'm excited to continue my involvement with this blend of two well-positioned companies whose strong records of performance and commitment to excellent provide an excellent platform for continued growth. Um, there's a lot to digest here. I mean, there really is. Um, there's a lot to digest. One, uh, I just want to give my my takes. You know, I kind of gave like a little bit of an overview, but but. You know, my, my initial take on this is a little bit of sadness uh, for the Lux family because I know how hard they've worked. I know how hard they've, you know, how they position themselves as a player in the market, not just, you know, in bourbon, but in the entire spirits industry. When I interviewed Don Lux in, I think, 2009 for an, uh, an article in a magazine called Tasting Panel, you know, then they had about 3% of the entire spirits industry. You know, so they are they are a player. You know, they are a significant player. But I would say that if you were to compare these to like baseball franchises, Luxco was probably the Milwaukee Brewers, and you know, someone like MGP, which has a you know they have facilities that are churning out product constantly. You know, they have a little bit more depth there, and you know, Luxco fits very nicely in what MGP wants to do. Now, Luxco has also had some issues with its shareholders. They're currently under, you know, I, I don't know if it's been resolved, but they've been sued by their shareholders for some uh, for some things. And in fact, I was, I was contacted by those in the suit about being an expert witness. I declined it. I don't do that sort of thing. But, you know, this is, if I am a shareholder within MGP, I look at this as like, this is a great, great move. I think this move, it, you know, benefits MGP to the, to the absolute highest degree. Like, this is what they needed. They needed a, a big play in their uh, portfolio. And, you know, Luxco 
is a big play. They've got some big brands there. Ezra Brooks and Rebel, um, Rebel Yale, or now Rebel, are definitely moving the needle. And Davies County as well. So let's take a look at what Luxco, or excuse me, MGP said. Uh, Luxco presents a unique opportunity to take a material step towards realizing our long-term strategy. It significantly expands our product line in a higher value branded, branded spirit sector and increases our sales and distribution capabilities across all 50 states. That is definitely true. Uh, we have enormous respect for the platform Luxco has built. Interesting, they continue to use the word platform. You don't really see that a lot in press releases. We're excited to add its portfolio of fast growing premium distilled spirits. Brands together with strong cash flow generating legacy brands. We welcome Don and his family into the MGP shareholder base and look forward to growing together. So again, you know, if you take a look at this, like how they're phrasing this, they're talking about welcoming Don, uh, who gave the introduction speech to Max Shapira, the CEO of Heaven Hill at his Bourbon Hall of Fame induction. If you're looking at how they're phrasing this in their press release, you're looking at you're looking at basically two families like coming together, and you're looking at like the uh, Luxco side is like we're all aboard, we're excited. So, and I also predicted that we would see some major mergers like this, and I just didn't think it would happen this quickly. I think there's some other brands to be uh, acquired here in 2021, especially the, the first part of it. But, um, you know, what we're seeing, what I believe is going to happen here with this is I think that Luxco has a, a completely new a completely new kitchen to play with. And, you know, if you have any of their David Nicholson products, if you have any of their Ezra Brooks products, you know that they do a really, really good job of bottling really, really good bourbon. Now, I don't re really want to speak to much of the other spirits that they have in their portfolio. But I see this as a win-win for both sides, with the exception of a little bit of a sadness that I have for the Lux family with their family has basically built this together, you know, built this family, they, or they built this brand. Um, and, you know, you know, you have, you know, some, some youth in there as well. So who knows, maybe in 20 years, we're talking about, you know, the Lux family taking over this new conglomerate. But this makes this, this makes this, uh, this move puts them in a driver's seat of being a top tens in size in terms of like a, a product that they can put out facilities they have so they go from basically being the milwaukee brewers which is definitely a a major league team that never can get to the world series and win it to a team that has a shot to getting to the world series and winning it and i say that from the bottom of my heart as a longtime brewers fan uh so i can definitely and the irony is, of course, they're in St. Louis, but that's a story for another time. But for for MGP, uh, I think what this means for them is they might be closing off that valve a little bit of uh, of their source products. So I think you're probably going to see a lot fewer uh, likes of like Smoke Wagon uh, brands that are really dependent upon those really good those really good like you know 12 and 13 year mgp bottlings because luxco brands are sure in the heck going to be bottling those up and listen you know they lose the kentucky name but at the end of the day uh the world knows that mgp distillery to be really grand and it also mgp has struggled with its on premise and its retail reach out whereas luxco has a team for that they have i mean this is this is probably one of the best absolute mergers from a business perspective that you could ever possibly imagine and what that means is you're probably going to see a higher a higher amount of really good indiana bourbon being bottled by luxco so giddy up 10 year old cash strength ezra brooks is probably coming to a store near you but that's going to do it for this quick hot take Got it in under 10 minutes. So I appreciate you uh, tuning in. Always, if there's breaking news, I will jump on here real quickly and uh, knock it out. I'm also doing regular tastings and celebrity interviews with whiskey. So make sure you click that subscribe button if you would like to learn more about whiskey and all the things I'm up to. Also, if you'd like to become a member 
we welcome you in the membership community where we have a lot of exclusive content and some call-in shows from time to time. Just click the join button in the membership area. But that's going to do it here for this hot take today on January 25th, 2021. Cheers.